Hello, it's top of the morning to you, my friends. I know, I've been gone for a while. I'm gonna fill you in on all that today, okay? And when I tell you, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I get, I get why she hasn't been here for the last, what, couple months? I don't know, I don't even remember the last time. It's been a couple months, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You'll understand why here in a little bit. But until we sit and have our chat, I thought we could hang out. We're gonna vlog today, my boys are in school, I have the day off work. I'm celebrating a little bit today. I'll tell you why later. We're outside Goodwill right now. There she be. We're gonna go in and shop a little bit. Let's just hang out today, okay? Between concrete walls, there's a place for us Where we could go, where we could be alone Between city lights, we don't have to hide I wanna go, do you wanna follow? Okay, we're back home and guys goodwill was so good so so good in fact i'm going to wait and do all goodwill haul on a separate video just because there's so much stuff which is really good but i don't want to bog down the video because the main reason i wanted to do this video is for this chat that we're about to have so as i bring things in from my car um here in a bit when i get done talking to you i will sit down and do a haul and show you everything so it'll be coming up on my channel soon so be on the lookout for that i'm sorry to not share it here, but it's it's worth the wait, okay, I promise. All right, so let me catch you up on everything that's been going down these last couple of months and why I haven't been around. Um, I, like towards the end of January, I got a cold, like a sinusy kind of a cold, and it was just in for the long haul, and then all of a sudden it was like a light switch flicked, and it settled in my chest. Like I could just feel it settle. Um, and TMI, but I could like taste phlegm in my mouth even though I wasn't coughing it up. I know that's disgusting, but that's just what it was. So I was at work one day, I'd finished uh, teaching for the day, I came home, was just not feeling good, really lethargic, and my fever was going up, 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 and I got sick, really, really sick. I was so sick that weekend, like not dramatic at all. At one point, like laying in the bath, for sure that I'm slowly, slowly passing away. I say to my husband, <sighs> I don't make it through this will you hang pictures of me and the boys all over the house so they don't forget me I was gosh darn sick y'all and here's here's why I was feeling so bad so I got on Instagram and I was kind of like chatting and just saying hey here's what's going on I'm sick blah 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 if you don't ever see me on YouTube find me on Instagram I'm on there all the time I'm on my stories daily probably too much actually um, but Instagram people usually fix my life and someone said, you probably have the flu. You sound just like you have the flu. So I don't know why I didn't think that. I think I was just so focused on the fact that I had this like yucky sinus cold that sat in my chest and that must have been what it is. So, um, whenever she said that I went to the doctor to get 
uh, tested and I did have the flu. Flu type A, but not only did I have the flu, I had pneumonia and bronchitis. It was a three for it for me that day and no wonder I was feeling like I was dying because I was so gosh darn sick. So I went home that day. I was already like three days into the flu. Um, so I was just planning on waiting it out. But something that was kind of weird that was going on, and of course it was probably due to the pneumonia, but I couldn't really breathe, or and my heart rate was really rapid, and I couldn't be very active. So I was like just kind of stuck in my little bed island for several weeks, several weeks. If I stood, I just didn't have the energy to stand for too long. Um, I couldn't do like simple things like get dressed or uh, make myself something to eat or run a, like a simple errand out of the house. Like I was just kind of, bed bound. So I went back to the doctor and she said, you are still dealing with some things from your, your pneumonia and you possibly have swelling around your heart. A lot of times whenever people get these viruses, it can cause inflammation all over the body. And I had a really, really rapid heartbeat, which is not normal for me. I have a really healthy heart. Um, and like I wear a Fitbit, so I monitor my heart rate a lot. It takes a lot for me to get up to a hundred beats per minute. Like just because I'm weird and I think it's fun. I will stand in my, my living room and just like run in place as fast as I can for 40 seconds to try to get my heart rate up to a hundred beats per minute. And it's just almost impossible. So for me doing these very simple tasks of walking to the bathroom, it was like 140 beats per minute or me, um, trying to put on clothes, 145 beats per minute. It's just really crazy. So she said, I think you might have some swelling on your heart and that's what's causing this rapid heart rate. She sent me home and she said, you need to be on bed rest for another week. At this point, I think we're already like three weeks into the sickness not working. My husband is like completely carrying our whole entire family, picking my children up from school, taking them to school, watching them if I had a doctor's appointment during the day. I mean, he carried us throughout this whole thing. So I just didn't, like what she said didn't settle well with me and I felt like I didn't feel fluish anymore. It was just, I couldn't breathe and my heart was having problems. And I, after I would have these episodes of these really high heart rates, I would get real dizzy and get headaches. Um, and so I felt like it was something more than just like, you need to sit in the bed for another week. So I gave it a couple of days, didn't see any improvements, went back in. This time I saw my doctor because they were putting me with the PA, which is fine. Like nothing against PA. She actually really liked her. She was great. But I just wanted to see somebody else for a second opinion pretty much. So my doctor was like, oh, Mother Francis, um, you should have been on an antibiotic for the pneumonia and like you need a steroid. And so I did a breathing treatment in her office. I got a shot in my bum. Um, I left with an inhaler and a steroid, all the bells and whistles. And I was feeling like so good when I walked out of that office, like I could have conquered the world, but it's short lived because all of that stuff, once the inhaler, I mean the uh, steroid shot and the breathing treatment like out of your system, you're kind of right back to where you were at. So I was in and out of doctor's visits with my doctor for about a week and a half, trying to figure out why is this hanging out for so long. I had two rounds of chest x-rays. I did a CT scan or they did a CT scan of my chest. Um, and basically she said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this is hanging out for so long. You need to go see a cardiologist. Whenever she said I need to see the cardiologist, I freaked my freak out. Up until that point, I was really chalking everything up to pneumonia and things are just kind of taking a little bit longer than I would think to kind of work its way out of my system. But whenever she said that and I thought there could possibly be something wrong with my heart, which would completely change my life depending on what it is, I just kind of went into like freak out mode. I cried. I think I went home and like sat in the bath. The bath is like my um, psychiatrist for all things. If I have um, a bad day, take a bath. If I'm feeling blue, take a bath. If I have a stomach ache, take a bath. Sick, take a bath. Like everything is take a bath. So I'm sitting in the bath like sobbing and just like afraid of the unknown because I was so healthy beforehand and here we are into this and I can't do anything. I'm not taking care of my family. I miss spending time with my kids and being active and is this the future for me and what's going on and my brain is just, you know, doing what some of our brains do. Um, I went in to go see the cardiologist. They did a halter monitor, which is like a heart rate thing that you wear for however long and they monitor your heartbeats. And then they did a sonogram of my heart. And then they're like, we'll see you in two weeks with the results. Like, what? Now I'm going to wait for two weeks. So then in the meantime, I contacted my doctor and said, Hey, saw the cardiologist. He doesn't think it's my heart. I didn't really think it was either. 
I, I what, what should I do? And she's like, well, I'm gonna refer you to a lung specialist. So then I saw a lung specialist and he really has been the one that's helped me kind of get to the point where I am right now, like what you're seeing right now. Um, I got another shot uh, and he gave me a very strong dose of steroids, which is very different than what I was getting from my regular doctor. He had said that those steroids you get from a regular doctor is kind of like what you would get if you have poison ivy. Um, but the one he gave me is a lot stronger and I was on it for a lot longer. Oh boy was I feeling good about the third to fourth day in my breathing um wasn't as labored and heavy my airways were opened up my heart rate was recovering the weird thing about all this that I have going on is whenever they put me on steroids my heart rate turns back to a normal ish it's still a little bit elevated but a normal ish um range for me um which is not normal usually when people are on steroids their heart rate increases which makes them think that it has something to do with the swelling swelling that's going on in my throat and my airways <clears throat> so, um, I went today for my last appointment with my lung specialist. Yesterday was my last appointment with my cardiologist. And earlier in the vlog today, I said that we were celebrating today because yesterday I got the thumbs up from the cardiologist. All of my tests came back. Everything looks great. I'm in perfect working order with my heart. He basically wanted nothing to do with me though. Like I'm not even that sick in his eyes, obviously. And I'm kind of like wasting his time. So I didn't really get a lot more information from him, but it was just pretty much like, you're fine, go. Um, I was trying to say, well, do you think it's like, is this normal? Do you see people that have pneumonia and have this kind of a, you're fine. See you in a year. Bye. So then I go to my lung specialist today. It's my last follow-up appointment with him. Kind of tell him what's going on. I'm a day out of taking my steroids. Last time I stopped my steroids, I had a really big flare up. I got set back. Um, and he's seeing some of my symptoms return like just a little bit. Like I have swelling down the inside of my throat on the right side. And there's a lot of like tightness in my neck and my shoulder. Um, and my breathing is like, I have to focus a little bit more to take a nice big deep breath. But I'm so much better at this point than I was last time I did a round of steroids. So I'm like a, like a holding phase for right now until Friday to see if I regress any or if my symptoms kind of return by Friday. If so, he wants me to start another round of steroids, which he doesn't want to do, I don't want to do. So I'm hoping that doesn't have to happen. So I'm feeling so much better though. I can move um, today. What it today is what Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've been active and out of the house. I've actually bought my own groceries today. That's something I haven't been able to do in a couple months. Um, thank you, Instant Cart. Um, and I've returned stuff at stores. It's been so good to move my body. I've been so happy. Um, it's been really, really hard on me. I'm very active, moving all over the place. I have two small children. My job is even active. I'm just going all the time, and I have a lot of joy in that and being active. So telling a person like me, like you can't move and if you do you're gonna feel like you're gonna pass out so you need to just like sit I, it was hard it was draining i was scared not sure what was going on so at this point this is the lung specialist believes that i'm just still dealing with some things from a really bad round of pneumonia and bronchitis so he basically explained it to me as uh, your lungs and like your airways and stuff are the hardest things to heal just because we are constantly using them. You're using them all day long as you do when you're breathing. If you're coughing or if you get to a place where something makes it inflamed or irritated, you're set back. And because I was coming off this really nasty cold and then ro rolled into a uh, flu and then it was just kind of like the perfect storm for my lungs and all of that to just kind of take a really bad beating and I'm just having a hard time recovering from it. I feel okay. Um, I just have to really watch myself and not be too wild and crazy because again, my heart rate gets high. Um, and then when that happens, I get headaches and all of those things. So we're, I'm seeing the light in the tunnel. We're making our way over there. We're kind of like got some answers. At least I know that my heart's not going to implode because I was a little bit concerned about that. It's scary when you feel your heart like pounding like this when you're just doing like basic stuff and you're getting dizzy and it's a scary feeling. So um, at least we know we're all good in that area. And here we are. So that's where I've been. I've been really sick um, and trying to get better and trying to get some answers. And um, I'm feeling a little bit more like myself. So now you're all caught up. Like I said earlier, if you don't see me on here, I would love for you to follow along on Instagram. I'm on there daily. I share stuff just like this on Instagram, things that I don't um, want to put the time into making a video for. So we go thrifting and I do grocery hauls. I talk about 
just like things I buy from Amazon that I like or makeup or whatever um, all over on Instagram and we have a really good time. In fact, something else I wanted to share with you that we did on Instagram over the week was um, something that I came up with called Kindness Shirt Day. All of this was started because of that day that I went to my doctor and she said, you need to go to the cardiologist. And I was just like, it all kind of came crashing down. I was in like a little bit of a funk. I stopped into um, my local coffee shop at Starbucks to get a little afternoon pick me up. And one of the baristas there who was always so sweet, she comes over to me and she's like, hey Kendra, uh, I've been saying these things about you behind your back, but I feel like I need to come and say it to your face. And I was like, oh, okay. I had no idea what she was going to say to me, but she went on to say the nicest things about me as a person and my boys. She sees them in there sometimes and just the most genuine, kind things. And she took time out of her busy day just to kind of come over and share some kindness with me. And she had no idea what my family and I had been through the last month and a half and how we were struggling and how low I was at that moment. But she just did it just to be nice. And I thanked her. I'm sure I blushed a little bit. I got in my car and I just broke down, sobbed my, sobbed, sobbed my eyes out, got on Instagram, shared the whole story on Instagram. Got home later that day, and when I went home, there was a package on my porch waiting for me, and it was a t-shirt that I had ordered previously from a t-shirt company called Thread Tank, and the shirt says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, and I felt like that was just so beautiful and poetic that that happened to arrive on the same day that she showed me this great kindness um, when I was really struggling got on Instagram again and shared about the shirt. And then people were like, hey, where, where'd you get that shirt? I wanna get one. And then <clears throat> I started thinking, dude, if you guys are gonna buy the shirt, let's all wear our shirts on the same day. So we picked a day, it was March 16th, we all wore our shirts and everybody took selfies and we shared them on Instagram and I went back into that Starbucks and I gifted uh, Jenny the barista her own kindness shirt just that matches the one that I had so that she could you know, learn about, not learn, but like hear about everything that happened. I told her about all the people on Instagram that were also going to be wearing the shirt and it was really sweet. She was very moved and we hugged and we cried. It was just beautiful and it was a really great thing to kind of round out the last two and a half months that have kind of been like H-E double hockey sticks. It's been rough, it's been really rough. And I think a lot of times people on Instagram, they see me being happy and smiling and I don't wanna get on there and say all the things and cry all the time and do all, you know, nobody wants to see that. So that's stuff that I share with my husband and my mom, my family, and I try to keep it a little bit more light. So it's been really hard to say the least. Um, but the whole kind of shirt thing at the very end of it all was just kind of like the pretty bow to tie things up and going to the doctors this week and knowing that my heart's okay and hopefully my lungs and the bronchitis and stuff are all going to catch up and we're all going to be good to go. There you have it. I told you that was going to be long, but I had to catch you up on all the stuff. So if I was to show you all my thrift things, you'd be like, dude, why is this video so long? But I'll go ahead and end the vlog for today. Um, I will be back with a haul soon, so watch out for it. Thank you for being patient with me while I was away for a little bit. I know I came back and said I was coming back, and then I didn't come back because I was sick. But make sure, again, if you're not following me on Instagram, that you do. It, all the information for that's below. I will see you guys soon. Bye.